Now our guest for tonight is a cosmetic dentist who happens to take care of these pearly whites. And he also takes care of South Africa's A-listers. He is also a designer who makes custom jewelry and grills for South Africa's biggest stars and runs multiple charities and volunteer classes for the youth. On top of all of that, he's a recording artist and musician. Please welcome, some of you know him as Dr. Smile, but today on the home ground couch, it's Lex Leo! What an intro! What an intro! How are you doing, Doc? I'm really good. Oh, I'm really happy to be dog. here. Ah, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. It's I don't mind. Of anything. Of that, it does everything. Anything. Great to what? see you guys. Great to see you yeah. too. And we can't wait for your performance. I heard you recording. Yeah, we're really a little, excited. I mean, practicing a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we're was excited great. about that one. But. Alex, for me, I want to speak to you about, I mean, we know you as a doctor, as a dentist, as a cosmetic dentist, yes. taking care of obviously our biggest stars. But one of the things that really touches my heart is that outside of just your profession as a dentist, you do a lot of outreach programs. Mm. Um, you're always helping. Uh, there's that one campaign that you do with yeah. the kids where you fix their, yeah, the cleft palates, your project, project smile. smile. Yeah. Talk to us about it. So I think, we, I mean, we've heard this term with great power comes great responsibility, sure. right? And I've, I've been, privileged enough to be able to practice dentistry in the way that I've chosen to and treat the patients that I do mm -hmm. and I thus have a responsibility to help those who cannot afford uh, the level of dentistry I get to offer to everybody else. Yeah. So Project Smile is a platform where I get to do free smile makeovers for those who truly need it, who truly deserve it and in a million years would not be able to afford that type of medical treatment. Sure. Um, and something really special. Really That's really is. awesome. Yeah. I mean, Alex, I mean, you, you speak of one thing with regards to obviously your, your work as a dentist. And I mean, when you speak of a person who's got a good heart, but also has an abundance of talent, yeah. um, I mean, it speaks to, I guess, the great dream that a lot of people have. You know, we sometimes want to chase a profession, but sometimes there's another passion that is always burning inside. It's interesting, you know, every single one of us, you guys here, every single one person in the world has like a host of interests, talents, and a great capacity and potential. And I think we can slowly figure that out if we prioritize service to humanity. So like, okay, how am I gonna use my talents, my abilities, my resources to help others? For sure. And as soon as you make that your mindset, all of your flowers start to bloom and blossom um, because you're going in the right direction. Often if it's like, ah, I wanna do this just for myself, it's not gonna work. Yeah. I think if you do it for the benefit of others, all of these talents start developing and the radiance is, is shared with the world. So it's not it's not me, it's not like I'm not doing these things, you know? Mm. I'm just letting them happen. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like that. So let me tell you a story. So I've got a dentist, his name is Dr. Smile. <laughs> and when you're chilling in the dentist chair, next thing you hear, <laughs> <laughs> let's just say it makes it, it makes the pain easier. It makes it better. Is that your secret well. power? Yeah. Speaking of which, Spice. when you're doing runs in the dentist chair today, you're going to be doing runs on the home ground stage. Yeah. Talk to us about the music that you've been working on and, and, and what does Lex Leo look like as an artist for people that, you know, haven't heard your music and what are you working on? So, Lex Leo is um, started really primarily as hip hop, and right. I love hip hop because I love rap. I love writing. I love music, and that was a natural way for me to tell stories. Right. Yeah. Um, but it's developing. I released an acoustic song very recently called "One and Only." Yeah. Um, I wrote that for my wife, and um, I performed that just the other night. It was. It's amazing. It's such an amazing song to get the crowd going. But we're venturing to piano now because you know. It's exciting. It's so exciting what that music is doing to the world. Sure. Tonight, I'm um, going to be performing a track that Nasty C and I made primarily focused on mental health. And we wanted to make something that was hip hop and was dope to listen to, a nice flow, an amazing beat, but that carries a message that if you listen to the lyrics and you have time, does help you. Yeah. It does give you something to think about. So that track's called Jaded, um, and I'm very excited to share that. <laughs> 